Today we will be looking at one of the latest features which have been added to Onshape. Onshape now supports LiDAR which can directly be imported from your mobile device. To demonstrate this, I will be making a space claim for a coffee table in our offices by measuring the available space with the LiDAR function and here with a screen capture of the process. Okay, so that's just opening the app on the on our iPad Pro. Just going to my documents and placing it under the demo folder for 3D scanning. You will see that I have tested this feature beforehand. And just going to create a new document and say a coffee table. Okay, so we're going to go to the bottom left, the up arrow, so the plus and import from scan. Now as you can see that I step back a bit, the point where you start the scan is where your origin will be. And there you can see the LiDAR starts working. The idea is to slowly walk and get as much detail as you can. As you can see, the mesh snapping towards the edges and the solid surfaces. You can see in the corner, just doing each couch, trying to get as much detail as possible. And you'll see some of the mesh turns a bit different color gray. That just means that there's another mesh pattern right behind it. Just moving back to the original origin point. Went back a bit too far. So I close that distance. Just make sure that I'm happy. Then you can hit stop. And then the up arrow to say generate. Just click generate again. You can see it's actually generating the mesh now and then it's being uploaded. So it'll take you back to your Onshape app. And you, okay, so we've got an CAD imports there and there on the left we can see our scan. By default it is named scan. And there we can see our import. Okay, just going to transition back to screen here and here we can see the imported scan from the iPad just going to click on that just change this so you can see my cursor while that's loading okay there we go okay, so as you can see I've already placed the plane in here so what I'm going to do just to show you that you can work these references or these mesh points what I'm going to do is essentially just draw the let's just say the maximum space claim that we will need and we'll get it there and let's just pick a point over there get that coincidence and then we can see it snaps to now just to get an idea of how far this is Okay, so it's around 160, okay, fine. And that point there, this one here. Let's essentially make it the same. Oops, 160. And now we want to make sure that it's roughly the same level as the couch. Make it horizontal, there we go. this we want to put an 800 one in there we'll make it symmetrical and there we go here is our space clamp part and let's just rename it to our space clamp 
میگن 